Welcome, everyone, to the NBA on 2K Sports. With Greg Anthony and Hall of Famer Doris Burke, this is Kevin Harlan. And joining us on the sidelines, another Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. It's the Portland Trail Blazers and the Chicago Bulls. Let's take a look at our starters for Portland. Williams is out there with Duckworth. Then there's Drexler. Then there's Jerome Kersey. And it's Porter in at the points. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. You know, we see this all the time. You're basically, as a defender, hoping the man misses rather than putting in the work to get over screens. Here's Jordan. Portland grabs the miss. Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Now, here's Porter. Back to Drexler. Tries it from 19, and he comes up with the deuce. Yeah, that was a really good look there. Porter's court vision sometimes, I think, is underrated. Paxson passes to Grant. Jordan is doubled. Pippen with the wide open look. From outside, off the mark. It's been a quick start for Portland. Drexler right side. Williams a screen on Paxson. A wide open look for Drexler. His three pointers off the mark. The Bulls off to a slow start. It's a five point game. To the inside. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. Knocked away and stolen by Jordan. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. They throw good, Jordan. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better, mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Both good from the line that time. Well, this guy has multiple ways to get to the free throw line, and boy, has his stroke been on the money. Jordan against Drexler. Let's it go with a three. That shot missing. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. They trail by one. Jordan against Drexler. From 18 feet away, Pippen for three. Good, and it's Jordan picking up the assist. Practically automatic shot there by Pippen. He knows he just needs the ball, and then he is good to go. Drexler inside, guarded by Jordan, and there it is for him. Drexler's got his second bucket of the game to go. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. And I think defensively, that is not the way you want to start. Giving up high percentage looks, that doesn't typically end well. Now here's Jordan. Tries again, and that's two points on the layup. Jordan's got six. The yeah, high percentage look for Jordan it has every move you could ask for in the painted area. Porter passes to Williams. And here's Duckworth. He is guarded by Cartwright. Duckworth's shot is off. Chicago leading. Jackson with the ball. Scoreless thus far. Grant outside to the paint. Here's Jordan. Nice D from Williams. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for Portland. Here's Drexler from down in the low post. It goes. 
He's got six. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. He's a guy who, if he gets hot, he can carry your offense for long stretches. Here's Pippen, and Duckworth pulls it down. We've got 155 left to play in the first. Porter passes to Kersey. Fades away. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his third assist on the night. Porter against Paxson. Grant dishes to Jordan. Unloads from 13. Kersey grabs the board. Portland leading. Three on three. And there's the call on Michael Jordan. That is his first foul of the game. So timeout called here. The first for Portland. Some changes for Chicago. Sellers checked in for Grant. Vincent comes in for Jordan. And Hodges subbed in for Paxson. Portland also making some changes. Robinson's checked in for Williams. Davis comes in for Jerome Kersey. And Ainge is subbed in for Clyde Drexler. Porter kicks to Davis. Porter looking it over. Davis down low. Pippen on him. Four on the shot clock. Pass to Duckworth. Shoots over Cartwright. Duckworth's shot is off. Chicago trailing here. Here's Vincent. Pass to Hodges. Now Vincent. Good on the triple. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Now, here is Ainge, defended by Vincent. Porter passes to Duckworth. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Lock at six. Porter inside. And the seven foot one, Bill Cartwright, extends for the rebound. Here is Hodges. Nothing on the board. 12 seconds left to play in the first quarter. They set the pick. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. And that does it for the first quarter. Bulls lead by four. And the second quarter will be on the way when we come back. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Chicago. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Jordan is out there with Sellers. Then there's Hodges, then it's Vincent, and it's Corzine in at the center. So that's the five in the game for Chicago. Jordan, another one falls for Chicago. Yeah, well, we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but, but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now here's Drexler. Drexler drawing the double team, and he makes that one. Drexler's got eight points. 
Well, that's not the guy you want guarding him at the rim. Just too much of a differential in terms of size. Pass to Vincent. Jordan with it. He's guarded by Davis. The 11-footer. No good from Jordan. He operates well in traffic, but still, that's just a tough play to finish. Drexler kicks to Davis. Robinson against Hodgins. Jordan with the steal. Jumps up. Oh, and the jam by Jordan. A good job there. Jordan getting him in transition, and he does so much. You almost forget how dominant he can be defensively. Trailblazers trail by six. Bryant outside. The pass to Drexler. Over Vincent. And there's Clyde Drexler on the assist by Bryant. Drexler's got four points this quarter. Well, you love the activity out there. What a play. This guy is busy on the offensive end. Passes to Sellers. Here's Jordan. Pass to Sellers. Five on the clock. From about 16, another one falls for Chicago. And just beautiful form on MJ's jumper. A part of the game he polishes more and more every year. Drexler outside. Kicks to Ainge. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by the bull. Down low, here's Hodges. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. And now an eight-point Chicago lead. You have to have the vision to find the open man. Beautiful pass. Drexler scanning the floor. Outside for Davis. On the wing, Ainge. He's guarded by Hodges. The shot's good from Ainge. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Ainge against Hodges. Left side, Jordan. The offensive rebound. Makes it off the glass. Corzine's got the lead up to eight now for the Bulls. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. And to me, this is a common theme that's running through the league right now. Guys looking to leak out rather than box out. Now a timeout called by Portland. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Bill Cartwright, he's checked in for Corzine. Grant comes in for Sellers. Scotty Pippen's checked in for Michael Jordan. And it's Paxson in for Hodges. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Kevin Duckworth is checked in for Robinson. Williams comes in for Bryant. Jerome Kersey's checked in for Davis. And it's Porter in for Clyde Drexel. And in the second quarter, a little under three and a half minutes played already. Porter passes to Duckworth. And no good. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Cartwright misses. Maybe he rushes that just a little bit. Who knows? But he couldn't have gotten a better look than that. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. Ryan's checked in for the Trailblazers.
Anzo Bryant will bring it up for the Portland Trail Blazers. Eight point game. Here's Ainge. Portland again missing. Ainge has gone one of three on the night. Here's Paxson. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. Trail Blazers trail by eight. Kersey kicks to Porter. Shoots over Pippen. Rebound, Grant. Pippen against Porter. Pippen down low. The next on the nine footer. Pippen's got his second basket of the night. Easy to understand why they give Pippen the ball in that area because this guy knows how to take advantage. Porter against Paxson. Porter dishes to Bryant, and the shot is good. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. The Bulls leading by eight. Pass to Vincent. Percy against Pippen. The pass to Paxson. Grant outside. Screen by Grant. Here's Vincent. Again, Chicago. 50 seconds left in the second quarter. Paxson against Porter. Outside, Bryant. Passes it to Ainge. Fires from 18. He doesn't hit that one. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Vincent uses the glass to finish the layup. And now it's a 12-point Bulls lead. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Now here is Ainge. Six to shoot. Screen by Bryant. Drills it from outside. Ainge has got five points now this quarter. Open for three. And the last shot before the buzzer is off. And the first half is now in the books. It's the Bulls. They're up by nine. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game still to play. What a game we're seeing from Michael Jordan. He had a fast pass to the lane that first half. Got inside on demand. Now oh, this guy is such a good finisher on the move. And so far, the defense has not been able to counter it. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Chicago leading by nine. Moment here now for an injury report. Hey, Kevin, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for the Trailblazers. Oh, that is not what you want to see, and it sounds like it's a serious injury. All right, David, thanks. Well, guys, certainly not the news his fans were hoping for. And yeah, not at all. I mean, it sounds like he's got a long road ahead of him in terms of his recovery. And our hearts go out to him. The guy works so hard. His teammates love him. Coaches love him. He's going to be missed. Checking out the group for Rick Edelman to start this second half. Drexler out there with Porter. Then it's Williams. Then there's Kevin Duckworth. And it's Kersey in at the three spot. The Trailblazers shooting their first free throws of the night right here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And 
the first one at the line is good. Good on both. And here's Paxson. He has yet to score. Grant outside. Hart right against Duckworth. High post, Jordan. Rebounded by Duckworth. Duckworth's got four rebounds now tonight. Outside, Porter. From deep, Drexler. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got his fifth assist in this one. And how about the offensive explosion here by Clyde Drexler? Has really developed his skill set. No one's been able to match up with him all night. It's tipped. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. Pass to Duckworth. Six on the shot clock. No good. That would have tied it. Well, defenses are content to give up the mid-range, right? It's not the high percentage restricted area or the three. You can see they're prepared to give up that shot. Now here's Pippen. He's got five. Count that bucket. Pippen's got seven. Not much else the D can do. Sometimes Pippen is going to bury shots right in your face. Order outside. It's all in by the Bulls. Cartwright's got his fourth rebound in this one. And then slammed in by Jordan. You won't find a much more entertaining sight. I call that slam dunk contest level. Not quite two and a half minutes played here in the second half. Quarter inside. Guarded by Paxson. Jordan against Rex. Outside Porter. Up again. Great positioning on the putback. And while only 6'7", Kersey is a master at timing his jump. Excellent footwork right there on the offensive glass. Now here's Pippen. He's got seven. Outside Jordan. That's tipped. Porter with it. It's Drexler, top of the key. Inside, here's Duckworth. The rebound by Cartwright. Cartwright's got rebound number five here tonight. Grant outside. Cartwright inside. He's against Williams. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. Vincent's checked in for Jordan. And the Trailblazers making a change here as well. Ainge has checked in. Trailblazers trail by four. Outside, Porter. Pass to Duckworth. Fades. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. Porter's got six assists here tonight. Boy, you cannot leave him alone like that. Good form on the fadeaway jumper. Now, here's Pippen. And the pass to Carton. Rebounded by Duckworth. Duckworth's got his fifth rebound in this one. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. Up high to stop the alley-oop. And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Here's Vincent. He's got 10. He kicks to Pippen. Grant sets a screen for Pippen. To the middle. And the dunk by Grant. And you know, that level of physicality that Grant brings inside is awesome to watch. He does a great job with finishing with that power above the rim. Now, here is Ainge. He's got five. 
107 left here in the third quarter. Vincent the pass to Pippen. Back to Vincent. From deep. Rebound by Williams. And so it's Porter bringing it up now for the Portland Trail Blazers. Dishes it to Duckworth. Rebound by the Bulls. Pippen down low. Guarded by Porter. And we're going to have a jump ball. It's tied up there. Grant the pass to Baxson. Here's Vincent to the inside. Grant goes up and lays it nice and easy. Grant's got four points this quarter. With the ball around the hoop, Horace Grant, a tough man to stop. Porter against Paxson. Outside Porter. Down to five on the shot clock. Kersey passes to Williams. Here's Ainge. Misses the three. And he used the pump fake well there, but he couldn't capitalize. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. Bulls lead by four. And coming up as soon as we return from break, the fourth quarter gets underway. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. And when you're the beneficiary of a pass that good, you better deliver. And he did just that. Well, what a terrific game it's been so far with this fourth quarter sure to bring more pressure-packed basketball. We've got Sellers. Hodges is out there with Vincent. Then it's Jordan. And it's Corzine in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the five out there for the Bulls. The defenders need to recognize the importance of staying on him as we get into crunch time. A nice shot by Jordan. And the Bulls lead by three. And Portland has possession. Now he... He lobs it up, and Kretzler throws it down. Chemistry at its best. An unreal alley-oop. Yeah, the, you're right. The pass, the catch, the dunk. All of it perfect. Here is Hodges. Here's Sellers. Here's Jordan. Passes it to Corzine. And, oh, the block shot grabs it out of the air. To take the lead. The bucket is good. He'll have a chance for one more. It's going to be on Michael Jordan. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Trailblazers. A high effort brand of defense has been paying off for them in this one. They've managed to either block or What's alter up? a ton of their opponent's shots. And they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets in the half court. Anytime you can push the ball in transition for easy ones, that's big time. The free throw drops for Drexler. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Down low, here's Jordan, and Jordan throws it down. Oh, just solid on the one-handed slam. And guys, when it's a tight ball game like this, he's the guy they want with the ball. Now, here's Drexler. Clyde Drexler gliding to the rim for the slam. How about the explosive vertical there? Not much you can do to stop Drexler once he gets to the rim. Hodges the pass to Jordan. Pass to Hodges. The three ball gets the three-pointer to fall. And the Bulls lead by one. And what you love about Hodges, such an accurate shooter off the catch. D defensively, you want to make him put the ball on the floor. 
Now here is Robinson. And here's Duckworth. Poked away. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Inside. Here's Cartwright off target with the jump hook. Boy, against so little defensive pressure, you have to convert that. Pass to Ainge. Drexler high post. Right side Robinson. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. Game winding down, and they just keep changing leads. And guys, no separation yet, and I really don't think we're going to see any all the way down. And the Bulls call timeout here. Some changes for Chicago. Horace Grant, he's checked in for Corzine. Pippen comes in for Sellers. And it's Paxson in for Hodges. Portland also making some changes. Williams, he's checked in for Robinson. Kersey comes in for Davis. And Porter subbed in for Danny Ainge. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Guys, Doug Collins was just reviewing things with his team. They were asking the team to play faster, push the ball. Coach told their players, hey, look, in this league, fast break points are the easiest. We need more of them. Can't argue with that. Kevin? OK, David, thanks. Now, here's Jordan. Grant outside. Jordan looking it over. Over Drexel. No good from Jordan. Well, terrific defense. They obviously respect his ability and just want to make it tough. The pass to Duckworth. Shoots over Cartwright. Duckworth's shot is off. Chicago trailing here. Paxson outside. In the corner, it's Jordan. Back to Paxson. Percy against Pippen. Paxson outside. Shot from 16. Basket good. Jordan's got six here in this quarter. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, to more Jordan wants the ball. Now here's Drexler. 149 left here in the fourth quarter. We can expect a dramatic end to this one. Yeah, no, no quit by either side, guys. Neither team willing to give any ground. Outside Jordan. Passes it to Paxson. For the three and the point guard. John Paxson with the big time shot. And that's smooth. Fluid, just all in one motion jump shot there. Paxson seems to get the best rhythm on it when someone's setting him up. Williams has a screen for Porter. Pass to Kersey. Back to Porter. Here's Duckworth. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Well, I've been impressed with the ball movement all game long. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. I think the other thing they've done exceptionally well tonight is shoot the mid-range and take advantage of those opportunities. Anytime they're given a look, they have delivered. Good on the first, and that narrows the gap to one. Free throws good from Duckworth. Well, in a game this tight, you can't overlook how important those free throws could be. Nixon outside. Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Boy, I, I'll 
tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Drexler outside. Kicks it to Duckworth. Trailblazers moving the ball around. Pass to Drexler. Nails the trade. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. Chicago calls timeout. They're trailing by one. There's 47 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Forty-four seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Jordan. Nice D from Williams. And I think we'll see them burn the clock a bit here. Yeah, smart move. Now here's Paxson. He dishes it to Jordan. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they've got a foul to give here if they need it. Time called here. The Blazers decide to talk it over. They're down by one. 15 seconds left to play here in the fourth. What do you think, guys? This is where great coaching can pay dividends. Well, this is a chance to take the lead. So you've got to draw up a play to make it happen. Fifteen seconds left to play in the final quarter. Outside Porter. Williams sets a screen for Porter. That will count. Oh, the all or nothing shot. No good. And so the big win by Chicago in a tight game. What a show they put out here at home tonight. I mean, these are those games that feel so great to win and, and really... It's like a knife in the gut to lose. Uh, you you got to love being on edge of your seat and just wondering what's going to happen. How is this thing going to play out? Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thank you.